Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I am in the process of fast traveling. So I can go burn a scroll that will let those zealots not know my name. Because I don't want to get killed by these jerks. Let's see, where are, how far away is it? What? I thought I fast traveled to the right spot. I guess not. There we go. Let's do it. Here we go again. So I guess there's zealots in the game, and this king that I deposed, or helped depose, um, wrote my name on a scroll and set it up for him so that they hunt me down relentlessly. Now, I'm still going to have to face these guys and kill them, but I would much rather do it on my terms than let them hunt me down at their leisure and show up at really bad plate, really bad time, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and find this ah, that hurt. We're going to try and find the scroll and burn it. Where is it? I just want to do some looking around here. I see a source of light over here. These kind of games usually yeah. have. That's the statue of the Senators. Perfect. Three guys walking around, minding their business, and here I come with the assassination right on. Yeah. All right. Well, if I remember correctly, there is a zealot in this area. I guess he's across the river now. All right. I was gonna try to take him on just to see how tough he is, but. and we'll come across them. Some berries there. Looks like we've got a mask here, right? Question is where? Is it all the way up top? Maybe. Guards here are vigilant. Our way up. This is a restricted area, so we will hunker down. 
is running. thing we want to do is go to the map, go to the atlas, and I want to go back to Norway. Now, we left Norway a long time ago, and we left a lot of unfinished business there, so I'd like to go back and do a little cleanup on Norway. And we'll do that before we go back and talk to Randy and all that, because it's just... just so much to Norway that we have yet to really explore and that's something I'd like to feel. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Fishing. So, alright, let's take a look around Norway real quick, because we had a couple things that we left unfinished. Um, there's an opal there. This is one of them. always going to come in here. Okay, let's do it. Just cruise our way up there. It's picking up speed. That's good. It's an awesome looking mount. So there's a big elk or something up here, a big stag of some sort, I don't remember exactly what it is, um, but it is monstrous, and we tried to take it on early in the game, we weren't really sure of how to play the game and all that back then, I mean, you know, it was very early, I think it was one of the first three or four episodes, and I don't... He might have killed us, I don't remember, he might not have, but we definitely left him alive because it was, we. if he hadn't killed us, then we reached a point where we were pretty close to death and we just bailed because there was no way to do that at that point. Or at least I thought that way, I wasn't really sure. So we're going to go ahead and take him on, try and kill him, and then we will... Uh, 
we're going to clean up some other places around here. There's some other little mines and towns, some stuff to find. I remember we found a warrior that wanted a warrior's death. He was inside a cave somewhere. So, uh, that's something we're going to look at too, see if we can, um, go ahead and finish him off. But in the meantime, yep, here it is. I remember this place well. It has that big waterfall. It's cool. We'll be able to, um, stuff his head, I guess, if we manage to kill him, which we'll have too much of a problem now. dead. Got a couple skill points for that. Alright. Nothing to loot off of him. Oh, we got his head. Cool. So there's something above us here. Some sort of treasure. Some sort of... There's a lot of stuff here in Norway still that we have yet to attack. And these are the things I want to kind of take off the list, you know. England's been a blast. But our time there is done now. And at least for the moment. Just back in Norway real quick. So. stuff and gather up whatever it is we need to gather, some new weapons, armor, um, skill points, wealth, and then we'll head back to England. Oh, looks like it's below us. Is it in here? So it's still below us. It's a little distance away, so let's make our way over toward where it is. Solid chest. The carbonate. And a little silver. Alright, so what's next? Uh, well, 
we can go this way. And there's quite a bit here. A couple mysteries, too. So let's go ahead and fast travel to that region. Like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? Who's talking to me? There is much honor to be earned fighting by your side. I'll be oh, here okay. should you call again. Got some Vikings that want to hang out. So there's gold, but it's down below us. <laughs> okay. So we need to find our way down. This was that note digging below us. Is it going to be coming from this house? Nope. Do you want the favor of the bar? guys were potential threats, but... Like you could handle yourself in a fight. Oh, believe me. Evil is, is that you? All right, well, let's go look at this other one. I should be cautious around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
some reason neither of those places seems to be accessible at this time so let's go ahead and see what these mysteries are maybe yeah sometimes the mysteries will allow um, you to enter places or stuff that you couldn't before little missions and whatnot so maybe one of these will do that let's take a look Like you could handle yourself in a fight. Oh, this is Eivor okay. Wolfkiss. It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. I How do they compare to me and Sigurd? Brawl, there is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. Ah. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a... Uh... One of those brawling things that every town has its big brawler. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I've handled more. Do you want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Well, this will be fine. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. <laughs> Fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here. You have much to learn. That was it. You have to fight me first. 
Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. That's enough! Stay on my toes. Did I win? No, but you fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. <laughs> did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed, like his old man. <laughs> Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Alright, got a couple skill points there. 40 silver, we'll take it. So what's next? 130 We're done farting around in Norway. I don't think we'll collect everything while we're here. We're just making a quick stop off, but. Do you want the favor of the god? Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds rare objects, priceless artifacts. All right, Silke. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. But I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit. These items do not look very impressive, like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfdan the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotre pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotre. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down! No! I did no harm! I will judge that. Huh. That was wild. What do we got here? We gotta find that hunt. Die! The good man! I need to find a key for that, huh? Loki, curse you! Words will not stop me. Dang. 
Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. On my life! I was frightened, and I fled, and when I returned, everyone was gone or dead. And yet you looted our dead, bartered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time, but the weight grew too heavy, and I needed to eat, to survive. This is not living. Without honor, we are worse than beasts, and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. Hey! Be good. Even if you don't stick a toe, I've stayed your welcome. Bring the coward down. Plenty of silver and a ball of yarn. Here's a nice hard shaft in the river. area mm, not much here we have a piece of armor and that will be worth looking for I think he automatically picks up speed when he leaves town. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Good, good, good. This isn't too far. Grab this and we'll go for whatever other armor or stuff that we locate. Whatever this is, it's right over here and it's down. This area is off limits. Marauder's dead, huh? This ought to be fun. doing any damage though so yeah we're grossly we should have done all this before we left
chest. I guess we'll just have to make a jump. I guess that's pretty much it for there, right? There is an opal. That's what we gotta find. Where's that opal? Is that also? No, it's somewhere else. <laughs> oh, it's down here. Thank you, opal. Let's go for that book of knowledge now. Yeah, these little marauder camps and all that, they're nothing now. It's not, not going to be a big deal to deal with any of them. Uh, looks like we've got... Oh, cool. fight area here and there are definitely enemies about so that's that Let's see if we can sneak in not to learn the sneakiest person I mean shit we may as well just run in and start swinging our axe or our spear and axe you know but we'll see Descent. Oh, look at that. Okay. find a way to blast into there. Alright, well let's just kill these guys off, because screw it. Hey, wait! Face me! To Do what? Bring a thing in your no. You are the rat! Shield. Alright, here's another one. Can't do 
curse me. the other way. I do. so good for you did it buddy all right is there anyone else here no it's definitely treasure down there the question is how do we get into it well let's start off by going up here and seeing if there's any This is the problem. Don't see any other way in. Don't see any of those lovely little. jars of oil. <laughs> oh, we got one. We got one. Go ahead and place that puppy down. No! Out! Out! That was a foul. We don't let ourselves on fire. Who doesn't do that once in a while? Alright, a little ore. A little leather and a run. That's kind of awesome. So what's next here? We will head over to Ikundersunda, whatever that is. Okay. Let's get our mouth again. And away we go. What's up, dude? Nothing to see there. Yep, nothing to 
see you there, guys. I had nothing to do with that. Forget about the guy in the flaming armor riding the flaming panther or whatever this thing is. It wasn't me. Shut up, baby. <laughs> Had enough of you. All right. So what do we got here? England six. Okay. It's a dagger. All right. That's kind of cool. Piece of gold over here. <laughs> Try a little assassination, sneak up on this guy. See what's up here. Ooh. Nice little chest, I'll take it. Leather, little ore, perfect. Concerned about waking anybody up at this point. I'm over the wolf kissed man. <laughs> Double assassination. Assassinate here, he's got some money on him. Oh, 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 that was brutal. Right off the freaking ledge. What did you have on you?
carbon ingot. Okay. So we're going to have to cross a body of water over here. We won't be able to swim. Not in England anymore. This Norwegian water will kill us. Or at least seriously damage us. And that's not something we want to mess with. I wonder, can I fish here? me to. Hey guys, thanks for showing up from England. It's greatly appreciated. Let the sun Okay, we're going to head right on over here, boys. Sing, my ravens. Dark is the shadow. Seal. This looks like whatever it is is right up top of there. Probably gonna have to go around. <laughs> but we'll keep gathering out of the parks again. We'll probably have to go around this way. down just a hair. It's down that way just a hair. Just a hair. Took a little dancing, chucking and jiving, but we made it. Hmm. All right, what else do we have in this area? Got an opal nearby, so that's definitely something we want to grab. And we're going to 
sunset coming up or coming down. That's great. Oh, we passed right by the open, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. Alright, so that area is done. Go look for that opal next. <laughs> ship here and take it on its merry way. No brothers. Might be able to do a little loot in here too. The opportunity arises. We'll give it a shot. We need an epic tale. You might not be aware, but I am a man with considerable shipbuilding craft. In my youth, just 13 winters old, I designed an improvement to our dragon boats. One that gave them extra strength. It is so common now that none remember my genius design. But at the time, I was praised from the top to the bottom of Norway. I had been out sailing with my father when we hit a rough patch of ocean. Our boat trembled like a frozen skeleton. We nearly broke to pieces, but I was not afraid. I was transfixed by the ship itself, watching it bulge and heave as men screamed or Hold on, good scum. Alright, let's try it like this. Can we get up here? Yep, we sure as heck can. Grab us an opal. Getting one at a time sucks, but it could be worse. Oh, that hurt. Definitely did not stick to landing there. Horizon Forbidden West's yellow uh, lines and dots. That was good stuff. And look at that, we got an open. Alright, what's next? Anything else here? Really? And there's an opal there. Alright, well, let's fast travel and then we'll get that one. That is. So as you can clearly see, leaving Norway when we did, did us a bit of a disservice. We would have had a lot more wealth moving into England, probably would have made things a little easier once we got there, but now it's just, I mean, it's simple now. We're just coming in and taking things real fast and getting through all this, not a big deal. some more improvements on our armor before we left weapons but it's okay it doesn't matter at this point um all of this is just icing on the cake so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this special edition of return to norway with assassin's creed valhalla as always i'm captain beefy with the game vault if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications don't forget to also Leave a comment and a like on the video. Let us know what you think. And if you share us on social media, that is greatly appreciated. I'll see you next time. 